Hi, Stories Channel here. Today, I'm going to explain the mystery thriller film called Julia's Eyes. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie starts when we see a blind woman, named Sarah talking to an invisible presence. The presence has been tormenting her for days. It plays songs and follows her around the house. Sarah cannot take more of this, so she goes to the basement to hang herself. Just then, she feels the presence near her. She changes her mind, but before she can remove the noose, someone kicks the tool away. A person from a corner, clicks a picture of her hanging to death. A set of hospital tools lies on a table nearby. Sarah's twin sister, Julia, lives miles away from her. As Sarah hangs to death, Julia collapses. She senses something wrong, and decides to visit Sarah. Julia and her husband, Isaac, come looking for Sarah and find her dead in the basement. Sarah and Julia both have the same kind of disease that made their vision progressively worse, eventually making them blind, but Sarah's vision had gotten bad before Julia's. At home, the police officer suggests, declaring it a case of suicide, he suspects Sarah got depressed with her blindness, so she committed suicide. However, Julia insists it is not as Sarah was waiting for a donor to get her vision back. She believes this is not a case of suicide, but that of murder. He then informs her of a blind lady named Soledad, who Sarah used to talk to. Julia visits Soledad, and gets to know about a place named Bauman Center, a place for handicapped people. She tells her that Sarah had made new friends there. Julia visits the place. When she goes there, she hears a group of blind women gossiping about Sarah. Sarah had a boyfriend who she went with, to a hotel in Bella Vista. The women notice Julia's presence and confront her. When she introduces herself, they ask who the man she came with is. Julia is surprised because she had come alone. But the women sense someone standing right behind her. Julia sees someone walk out. She chases the person, and reaches a small dark room. The person is right in front of her, but she cannot see him due to the darkness. He flashes his camera which distracts Julia, and he escapes. Her eyesight goes weak. Isaac wants her to go back home, because any more stress will cause Julia to lose her vision, but she convinces him to go to Bella Vista for a holiday. In reality, she wants to find out Sarah's boyfriend whom the blind women had been talking about. As they arrive in Bella Vista, she chooses the hotel in which Sarah stayed with her boyfriend. In the hotel, she cannot find any record of Sarah's boyfriend. Later at lunch, a waitress tells her that her twin, Sarah, already had her eye operation. So she is confused, as to why Sarah committed suicide as she already had the operation. Then, Isaac reveals, that Sarah's doctor told him that her eye operation was not successful. According to him, this is the reason Sarah committed suicide. As Julia is about to leave the hotel, a janitor named Crespillo says that he found something in Sarah's hotel room. He guides her to Sarah's room, and gives her a key that belonged to Sarah. Crespillo also tells her to be careful of the man in the dark. Just then, Julia senses someone behind her. The person runs away before she can catch him. Julia and Isaac then go to get surveillance camera footage to identify the person Sarah was with. Isaac goes in to get the footage, but never comes back. When Julia goes in to check, Isaac is not there, all the footages are gone too. She reports to the police about Isaac's disappearance, and tells them about the invisible man. Just then, we see Crespillo bathing in a tub. Someone cuts off the light bulb over him. It electrocutes him to death. The police and Julia come looking for Crespillo, and find him dead. Julia is now sure that the invisible man has killed Crespillo and kidnapped her husband. Worried about Isaac, she gets a seizure that further weakens her eyesight. She goes to see her doctor, who tells her that she has less than a month before she goes fully blind. He arranges an eye transplant surgery for her. Later that day, she goes back to Soledad's house. Soledad had a husband and a son named Angel. Her husband left her, and Angel had looked after her for 10 years before suddenly leaving one day. Shortly, the police find Isaac's last location to be a motel. They also find his wedding ring in the room he stayed in. As the inspector and Julia are in the motel talking, another officer comes, saying that someone is at Julia's home. The two of them return back. Inspector goes to check into a room, when Julia hears a noise from the basement. She goes down to check, but because of her eyesight and the room's darkness, she doesn't see anything. She feels around the room and then suddenly touches a man. Scared, she starts to yell for help. The inspector comes down, and tries to calm her. Suddenly, the lights come back. Isaac's body hangs from the ceiling. He has committed suicide. But even when the lights are on, Julia can't see. She has gone fully blind. 
The following day at the hospital, the inspector tells Julia about Isaac's suicide letter. He had an affair with Sarah for six months before her death. He killed himself because he couldn't lie to Julia anymore. A few days later, Julia goes through a surgery. She has to live with the bandage around her eyes for a week. Only after that, will we know if the surgery has been successful. During this time, she will stay under supervision in her twin's house. The hospital provides Julia with a caretaker named Ivan, to help her around the house. He gives her a device to hang around her neck, so that she can call him anytime she wants. That night, Julia gets a nightmare about Isaac and Sarah trying to get her bandage off. She wakes up terrified. Then she hears footsteps from outside. She calls Ivan through the device. He tells her to get out of the house. She escapes. Just then, someone takes the key Crespulo had given her. The police come in the following day, but they do not find any evidence of invasion. Ivan lovingly changes Julia's bandage. For the next few days, he takes great care of her. Changing her bandages, cooking for her, listening to music with her, and whatnot. But throughout all those times, we never get to see Ivan's face. On the third day, Julia asks him to stay for drinks. They have a conversation about Isaac, after which she kisses him. That night, Julia is woken up by a nightmare. As she reaches for her wedding ring on the side table, we see a set of hospital tools similar to one from the night of Sarah's death. Someone from behind her tries to inject her with a drug. This wakes her up, and she finally touches the man. Terrified, she runs out of the house to her neighbor, Blasco's home. His daughter Leah is home too. He lets her inside but starts to harass Julia. Shortly, she is surprised to find Sarah's key in his house, she takes it with her. She escapes from his house, and hides in a corner calling Ivan for help. Finally, Ivan comes to save her. She is too scared to go into her own house, so he takes her to his. There she tells him that she found Sarah's key at Mr. Blasco's home. She suspects that Blasco is the invisible man. Ivan leaves for some time when Leah approaches Julia. She has followed them here and snuck into the house through the windows. Leah tells Julia that she was the one who stole the key from her house and that she knows who killed Sarah and Isaac. It is the invisible man. Ivan himself. Leah reveals that she used to be close to Sarah, and knows a lot about the invisible man. Julia doesn't believe it but Leah insists that the key unlocks one of the locks in Ivan's house. Ivan has been drugging Julia to make her go blind, as he did with Sarah. Leah tells Julia to go to the bathroom, and stay there until Leah finds a way to escape. When Ivan comes back, she asks him to take her to the bathroom. She then opens her bandage, four days before the schedule. Luckily, the operation is successful, and she is happy to have gained her vision back. She quickly goes outside, and enters one of the rooms. She is shocked to see many pictures of Sarah and herself on the wall. Julia leaves the room to look for Leah, but sees her body stabbed to the wall. Ivan had killed her too. Terrified, she sits down in the corner crying. Just then, Ivan comes into the room. We see his face for the first time. It is splattered with Leah's blood. Julia poses as though the surgery was unsuccessful, and pretends that she is still blind. Ivan expresses his love for her. Now she is in the kitchen with him. She sees him drugging her cup of tea. Julia then replaces her cup of tea with his. Ivan doesn't notice but he gets suspicious. He takes her to the freezer, and asks her to open it. Inside it. Is the dead body of real Ivan. Julia gasps, giving away that she can actually see. The imposter Ivan calls her a liar. He then takes her to Sarah's house, but Julia manages to run away from him into Soledad's house. There she asks her to call the police, but Ivan comes in before she can. He calls Soledad mom revealing that he is actually her son, Angel. Julia pleads with Soledad to call the police, but Angel convinces her that he is not a killer. Then Soledad hits Julia on her head with the phone. Angel realizes that his mother can see. Soledad reminds him he will be nothing without her. This agitates Angel, so he chokes her. He wants her to go back to being blind again. He pokes her eyes with a needle. When Julia wakes up, she is in the basement of Sarah's house. Angel sits in front of her. He has packed all her clothes and plans to take her away to live with him. As he starts to kiss her, Julia takes a knife and stabs him on his legs. She quickly runs out of the basement and locks him there. But she can't get out of the house. She calls the police. Just as Angel breaks the door, Julia cuts off all the lights in the house. It is pitch dark. Angel uses his camera flash to look for Julia, and finds her. As he tries to stab her, the police come in. But they too cannot see anyone in the dark room. Julia takes one of the torch lights from them, and shines it to Angel in the corner. The shadow finally comes to light. 
Angel cannot handle being looked at by so many people, so he slits his throat, killing himself. Cut to a few weeks later, Julia is at the hospital, she finds that the damage to her new eyes is irreversible, as she had been continuously injected by her fake caretaker. Using her last few hours of vision, Julia says goodbye to Isaac's corpse. It is revealed that he was the one who donated her with his eyes. The movie ends as the camera zooms into Julia's eye. Now, for the explanation. Sarah and Julia both have a condition called degenerative vision. This causes them to lose their vision progressively, eventually going blind. Sarah loses her vision before Julia. Angel has a fascination for blind girls. He calls himself an invisible man. This is a metaphor for him trying to say that he has no friends or family. No one notices him when he's around because he's not worth noticing. Over time, Angel has developed the ability to be stealthy and stalk victims efficiently. He took care of his mother Soledad for 10 years thinking she was blind. Soledad was the only person who he talked to. This filled on hell with resentment towards everyone who did not notice or care for him. However, he fell in love with Sarah, and then Julia. According to him, only blind girls could feel his presence. Sarah tells her other blind friends at a center for the blind that she's been dating someone. This person is on hell. Once she has her eyes operated, she goes with on hell to a hotel in Bella Vista for a week. At this point she has her eyes bandaged. We are not told what circumstances she meets with Angel. Perhaps he was posing as her caretaker, and his empathy was winning Sarah over. Angel doesn't want Sarah getting her eyesight back. He ensures that he sneaks up on Sarah in the nights and injects her eyes with chemicals that destroy the optic nerve. The doctor declares that the operation has failed. Sarah gets to know that someone is following her, she could feel his presence and resented him. So, he killed her. When Julia came looking for Sarah, Angel saw it as another opportunity at love. But Julia had her husband always by her side. Hence, Angel killed him as well. However, the neighbor girl, Leah, helped Julia find out about Angel's real intentions before he could blind Julia fully. At the end, finally, Julia makes him visible to everyone. He had always been a lonely man. So, when the police officers had their eyes on him, he could not handle it, killing himself at the end. That's my explanation for the movie Julia's Eyes. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.